day, lords and ladies of the internet. I am your host today, the Parafox Archangel, the English gentleman of the internet, and I welcome you all back, back to the first episodes of Suits Absolute Power, where we, I believe, will be playing as the character of CEO, which in case you didn't know already, I am doing the voice acting for in Rukia's mod of Cutting the Branches, another Dank and Romper mod, and to be fair, he's joining us with us today. You could probably wind up including a clip of yourself doing your CEO voice acting here to prove what, to prove that you're doing that. I mean, I'm gonna be doing it in this episode, in this, in this series anyway, so who knows? <laughs> so we're doing this because first I want to know who the CEO character even is, and Rukia requested making a, a video with me, so I'm a, who am I to turn him down, you know? So oh, anyway, God. let's just get straight in and see what this is all about. Hello? Intro can see. Suits, 99 cents. Jesus, what world is it that you can get a suit for 99 cents? Uh, I don't know. introduction that kind of explains nothing other than the fact we're in a heavily industrial world. Oh yeah, this is a very heavily industrialized world. Hey! Hey you down there, covered in garbage! Are you dead, my man? Uh, huh? Long night out? A bit too much of the good stuff? Where, where am I? By the looks of it, you've gone and washed up on Trash Island. Trash Island? Yeah, I almost didn't notice you. You blended in so well. Well, that happens when everything is monochrome. <laughs> <laughs> you, sir, have a very good point there. Oh. We don't... Oh my god, everything in the game is monochrome. Of course it would all blend together, of course. Oh. <sighs> So you probably noticed that the characters during the intro cutscene didn't have faces, but our main characters here have faces. Yeah. That's how you can tell which characters are important, if they have a face or not. Ah, so they follow anime rules. Right. <laughs> oh no, CEO's an anime protagonist. I'm just trying to remember what my, the voice I did for him wa was. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. Can you stand? I think so. How did you end up here? I... I don't know. It must have been a wild night. What's your name? My god. I don't know. You either attended one hell of a party, or you suffered some form of concussion. Great. I hate amnesia stories. Well, by the looks of your name tag, you're a CEO. At least I've got something good going for me. Perhaps some, unless someone was trying to get rid of you. Who are you, anyway? Some call me Agent J. I was heading home for a from a business trip, and I saw your body floating ashore. I have a boat on the other side of the island. I can give you a ride back to civilization. That sounds like my best bet. Maybe you'll remember more about yourself along the way. What? Did you forget how to walk? And now for the tutorial of how to do everything. W-A-S-D. Right. Is there a mouse... Oh, is there a map purpose for the mouse in this game? Yes, you left click to punch things. Ooh. Okay. Shaky screen. 
Right. Press space to interact. A fragile crate. So fragile, in fact, that you can punch it with the left mouse button. You got an investor's tie. All right, that's equipment. Uh, we're probably going to... There's an explanation for that. <laughs> I love how my face is covering it so no one saw it, but... <laughs> There's an explanation for what that means. <laughs> Hold on. I feel I need to move my... 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 Fa fa my... Camera momentarily just so that people can see what I, I meant by that look look there we go there we go <laughs> okay just... should I explain what that means probably okay that's your corruption level oh. you are currently as pure as a virgin right okay but yeah it's like as soon as that pops up it's like okay uh, there's an explanation for that <laughs> Press tab to access your inventory. Thank you. All that's right. what I was trying to do. Yeah, EQ... sometimes I can't remember the controls either. EQ to switch tabs up and down, left and right. Right. All right. You got a tie, so. Tie increase. What the hell is April? Uh, hold on. Let's see. Uh, attack, defense, speed. I forget what APR is. That is literally uh, April. That's a month. Have we now lived for three three Aprils or something? No, I think it means something else. Uh, oh, it's AP recovery. AP is basically your MP in this game. Oh. Okay. So each turn you gain three M eight. You gain three MP basically. Every round of combat happens, you gain AP to let you make right. abilities space to pause the game, and there we can save. Alright, so we can just save at any time. That's useful. What happens if I punch him? Uh, I don't know. I generally don't try to punch the NPCs because I actually do think that you might wind up being... you might wind up killing some of the NPCs. <laughs> I've seen other people do it. You ready to get out of here, my man? Uh, yeah. Wait, do you feel that, my man? The ground is shaking! Time for a fight. Uh-oh! Not this guy! Uh, you wanna- I, I'm doing all the voices, do you wanna do a voice or something? I could try. I'm not sure if there's any lag between you and me, but we'll see what happens. I am the Krat King. My island, you're trashing. Are we going to have a problem? I sense a great strength within you, my man. Destroy this crat king. Half crab, half rat, half king. Soon I will rule everything. I didn't notice that rhymed until now. <laughs> Alright, so first boss. Alright, so first fight, first boss. What do we got? Special move, you're fired. Damages all enemies for, no for 56 attack. Cost, co it costs me money. Yes, you. this is why you don't use specials very often. It costs money. Pay to win cost, 210. Current cash, 100. I can just bribe enemies to just kit to win the combat. Yeah, you can bribe the enemy to death. This works on bosses, too. Oh, God. Fire's a hidden gun in your case. Success rate, 90%. Alright, so... Yeah, you can use seven of your AP to shoot the thing. That's quite the gun. Yeah. That's going to be interesting to figure out how to animate that. Anyways, see your AP... Never mind. Your AP. Yeah, I see it's going down. No, I meant that uh, it costs seven AP to fire, but because you have the tie that increases by three every round, it only costs... Four, basically, because you recovered more from the round. Yeah. It's kind of interesting the 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 way the combat works in that you've got like these little stands, like it's someone, like it's a like it's a little puppet show or something. It does. It yeah. Fired. 
We just right. fired the boss. Yep. The party... Because we're the boss now. The party got 50 XP and 100 cash. The company got a diary. A king's speech. Alright. Those fists have some serious strength. I wouldn't want to be on the wrong end of those puppies. Feeling I think right, I should probably... Man? What? I think I should probably do Agent J. Just so that you don't have to do them all the time. Because Agent J is one of the major characters. And you'll be stuck voicing two main characters the entire time. I think so. It would get you more involved as well. So go ahead. The people around here are dangerous, full of nasty thoughts and no good intentions. If you ain't careful, the spirit of evil might start to seep inside the mind and burrow its way into your very soul. I'll try to keep that in mind. Let's get out of this dump. I like all the imagery. Meanwhile, at the Board of Business, yeah, this game has a very great aesthetic. Chairman, think us. Present. Janitor. Right, right here. here. Right here. Beanstein. Dr. Beanstein is absent, sir. I see. Well, we all know how he gets with his experiment. Master of Illumination. How about we go for every early, other sir. character that's introduced? <laughs> Alright, sure. So you go with Bubbly. Or Bulby. Alright. Here bright and early, sir. Tendies. Here, Chairman. Cretentio. Here. Recyclist Jr. Here, sir. How's your father doing? He's operating efficiently, Mr. Chairman. Of course. Today we, the Board of Business shareholders, gather at a, t a turn of a new cycle. The recycling of Suit City is officially complete. Oh, right. I forgot about this part. Uh, Suit's Absolute Power is actually a sequel. The first game was Suit's a business RPG. And... Suit City was the location that the first game took place in. Well, did we play a CEO in that one? No, you played as someone else, but and CEO was actually the final boss. You actually said that you do villains really well, which was interesting that CEO wound up being your, who you wound up with because he was a villain in the first game. Hey, I've got a villainous voice, what can I say? That up the uprising that threatened us has been triumphantly stamped out. Congratulations to Mr. Tendies and Recycle Senior for a job well done. However, there is one more severely important issue. The case of the missing CEO. Due to personal ties to this matter and the pressing issues, I will re recluse myself from the hunt for the fugitive. I am trusting shareholder Pretentio to locate this man and prevent the spread of all anti-business sentiments that the fugitive may spread. I will use all methods at my disposal to locate him, sir. Fi finally, a mess that is not my responsibility. I will hold you to your word, Mr. Pretentio. We all know that this is an incredibly dangerous man we're dealing with. We will convene again if any new developments arise. For now, this meeting is adjourned. I'll try to remember who I'm voicing of the villains. Don't worry, so will we, I. Hey, welcome to the Hub Hotel. I'm going to head up to my apartment, room 13J. Come find me up there, maybe we can figure out who you really are. Fair enough, then. Go to room 13J. Okay, we can shift to sprint. Show objective. Shift to sprint. Thank you, I always work, already worked that out. Into the hotel we go. Oh, I see right. what you mean by facelessness. Yep. 
Only important people have faces. Everyone else does not. Big Trent, my apartment's hourly rent shot to a hundred... $1,200 last night. I'm thinking about taking us on a sixth job. Welcome to Business Planet. I was gonna say, if that's not an... If that's not a world-building statement for what kind of world we're in, I don't know what is. Chris Tory. This was once the tallest hotel in the region. Now it's the only hotel. That's Monopoly for ya. Corneth Evan. Have you heard, Gunneth? The, the 30 of Thrynths. It's opening up to the public soon. I feel like there's puns here and I'm not getting them. I think that was just like a lisp or something. It was meant to be. I'm not No, sure. I meant the names. I feel like some of these names are like puns or references or something and I'm not getting them. Vin Schneider. Well, I know that's the Schneider cut, so who knows. Interested <laughs> in investing? Here's an insider tip. Ball stocks always bounce. Phil Walliter. Did you hear about Suit City? What a loss. I got my business diploma there when I was a kid. All right, I forgot that's actually how the game starts. You start off in, like, school and you graduate. Well... All right, big buy. That's probably a store. You are the 1,457th migrant to this cycle. It's my job to tally up all the new faces passing through. What faces? <laughs> I was gonna say. Shopkeeper, how can we help you? Alright, so we do get items from, like, battles and presents and stuff as we go through. And if you ask me, it's probably for the best to save money. Yeah. Uh, hey, I'm a person that never uses consumables in the first place, so... Alright. Yep, and there's those steroids I said about that turn you into a health spawn. Well, I feel like we should get the steroid, at least, because we can buy the steroid. I don't recommend it, actually. <laughs> Remember that, uh, virgin thing at the top left corner when you hit that button? Yes. Yeah, it goes up considerably if you use steroids. You shouldn't use those. This is an in interesting way for the way the labels look. So I suppose we should go to the apartments. Yep. I to show status. Yeah, we saw that. Oh, so HP doesn't instantly restore after battle. Interesting. So we've nope, actually got to I choose. Wanna... How do we heal then? Is there like a way to sleep or something? Um, I think we have to use consumable items. So we do actually have to like choose our battles well then. Um, uh, I guess. Newt Opec, a new shareholder was assigned to manage the stock the Stocksford Stock Exchange. Jimmy Sweepers. I expect my application to the Coalition of Janitors will be approved soon. My social record is totally clean. I feel like that's a joke about janitors cleaning things. Yeah. That's what you call a bad joke. Oh, I feel no. like I've made... Hmm? What? I was gonna say, come on, we need to get to the apartment. This can't be the only apartment in the game, can it? I'm pretty sure it is, actually. <laughs> Oh, God. And you look way too happy. I'm going to loot your fridge. Jerome's personal dishwasher. Okay. I'm going to loot your oven. Where's your bloody fridge? Where is the fridge, actually? An in-home water cooler, the latest model. It's nearly empty. This is a fax machine. Doesn't seem to be plugged in. Where is the fridge? That is a good question. I never noticed that there was in a fridge. <laughs> Well, you'd look at this and you think, that's a fridge, wouldn't you? It looks like a small fridge, but yeah, it looks like a fridge, but it's actually the dishwasher. <laughs> Come on, my man, why don't you have a fridge? Everyone needs a fridge. Or, do you, or are you expected to just go to the lobby every single day to buy a sandwich? Actually, that might be the case. <laughs> I was about to say that actually is reasonable, given what we've seen from the world so far. <sighs> All right, Yukia, you're up. Welcome to the pad, my man. Looks like a mess, to be honest. That's my bad. I was doing business in another town for a while. I haven't had much time to tidy up. 
Make yourself at home, though. I appreciate what you're trying to do for me, though I really don't care to waste my waste time with pleasantries. I want to find out who I am so I can figure out what to do with myself in this de depressing world. Alright, alright. I'm picking up what you're putting down. Don't expect it to be so simple, though. This is a literal business planet. There are thousands of CEOs out there. I see. I could be any one of them. I hope I'm not the the say. I'm not hope I'm not some kind of janitor CEO. Right. I have a proposition for you, my man. I can search for your identity, but you'll have to fill in for me at my job. Sounds fair enough to me. What kind of job are we talking? Office supply sales? Not quite. Something more boring than I assume? A shoe shiner? I'm an assassin. <laughs> that went from one extreme to the other. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and let's be honest, Agent J here, you would not expect him to be an assassin, would you? Not from looking at him, no. He it's... looks and sounds kind of fun. It's Assassins kind... are not fun. I think it's the afro that's doing it for me. Yeah. That afro is gigantic. But yeah, Agent J here is an assassin. Uh, if you actually remember from Chapter Zero of the thing I made, yeah, uh, I actually when meeting Octavian, CEO's first question is, "Well, you look sketchy. What are you, an assassin?" That's where that came from. Oh, because he's used to an assassin that just do it doesn't look like an assassin. Yeah. Oh, that's actually quite good referencing there. Assassin. <laughs> Yeah, right. That sounds dangerous and illegal. You must be joking. It is. Dangerous for sure, but I, sir, but I assure you, assassinship was legalized on cycle 247. <laughs> um, okay. Trust me, it will be easy. My boss will fax over the targets by you and basic travel expenses. This is pretty heavy, man. We're getting a fax now. Let's see who's on the menu. So hey. question, how does the fax machine work when it's not plugged in? Excellent question. One we are not going to look into. Name, Floyd, Alice, the Dingo, location, Stocksford. Reclaimed CEO, chief of, of sales, suffers a crippling coffee addiction. Relax, just take this train ticket, after you dispatch the target, come back home, and I should have some information on who you really are. You got a stocks ticket. Well, I don't really have much choice, do I? And based on what I've seen of this world, the guy's probably a dirtbag anyway. That's the spirit. The name's Jerome, by the way. Good to meet you, my man. I wouldn't have figured, given the fact when we went, interacted with the with the the dishwasher, it said Jerome's dishwasher. Yeah. I love how it says that before we even discover what his name is. I think we were probably supposed to talk to him before we raided his kitchen. Well, then they did not expect players properly. Then, if that was the case. And it doesn't matter that much anyway. Jerome is actually one of the main characters and major party members from the first game, so people who played the first game probably already knew who it was anyway. Wait, then doesn't that mean he already knows who we are? Uh... Yeah, Jerome knows exactly who we are. But remember, Jerome also was a part of the group that kicked our ass. <laughs> Yeah, but still, he tried so, to kill us, so shouldn't he already know that and thus be still trying to kill us or something? Intrigue. We will find out later. Oh, good. I'm guessing the story already. Always, I finally put enough t time to at work to take a work-from-home vacation. Pants? Never heard of them. Okay, let's move on from that. <laughs> Bobby Two Cents. If someone looks busy, you might think they are really busy. A life lesson for you, kid. Ha, huh. Ticket Usher. You seem like you got a ticket, lifetime ticket to Stockford. You can go to Stockford as many times as you want. Convenient. Right. I was wondering as if this was a, like a one-time thing. Alright, uh, I'm not sure whose voice we're on at the moment. Who should be doing uh, it? Stop right there.
Did you really think you could get away with using public transit? I must admit, for a simple CEO, you've got guts risking your life like this. The shareholders will be pleased when I bring them your head. Alright, another fight. Well, he looks... high. I think it's a robot. I don't know. Well, the guy's got more HP than the other. 16 HP damage! Jesus, okay, I'm guessing this is the fight to do a lot of damage to us so we learn how to heal. Oh yeah, this game has accuracy checks. Yeah, I can see that at the bottom with 90%. I can't wait for that to screw me over. <sighs> CRP, one out of seeing. Isn't that corruption? Uh, wait, where do you see CRP again? On the top right. Oh, okay, yeah. I think one of the enemy attacks must have increased your corruption at the moment. It shouldn't be too big of a deal right now, though. But if you get three, then it'll be a big deal. Really? He's left with one HP left. Makes an ear inquiry and gains nine speed. Ah, Whack. Fired. You won! The party got 50 XP and 150 cash. The company has been promoted to level two. I love Promotion. the way they do that. Promotion. We're going up in Business Planet. Wait. Doesn't that does that mean there's like instead of like individual levels, it's like a party level kind of system. Yeah, the party level. Oh, that is actually a really nice way of doing things. So it means that no matter who you use, it's always the same level for each other, so you can inter mix them in and out whenever you wish. Uh that would be nice, except that you uh only have three permanent party members. How many can you have at once? Uh three. Wait, that includes CEO, so you can only get two. I feel like if I say too much, I might spoil something. Should I say it anyway? No, no, it's fine then, it's fine. The company got a sandwich. The company got a diary. TI agent. I'm guessing then that's like... Telling us about the people, right? Probably. I, I will battle on the ends. Although I suppose the Crack King was you, so you can read it. I will battle on to the ends of the earth before I let my kingdom fall. For too long has Trash been treated as a second-class life form on this planet. We will rise, I say. Rise like hot garbage unto a new dawn. A new world where Trash can roam free and dine from the game cans. No, wait, same cans as the two-legged ones. Trash rise. Trash rise. Cracking. Motivational, my good man. So I don't think I ever really re read much of the, uh these, uh, things. I've been tracking the Suit City CEO for roughly five minutes now. I took a train to Hub Central Station in hopes of gaining intel on... Wait, I think I see him now. Yes, it's really him. Suit City CEO, the national terrorist, practically turning himself in. Hey, Agent. Well, if that's not a way for us to learn the story, I don't know what is. I think we can learn the story pretty easily without it anyway, since I know the story pretty well, and I never looked at the journals. Oh, I leveled up, so I got all my health back. Cool. Alright then. I guess I just get on the train then. Yep. Would you like to go to Stocksford? Yes! I'm gonna guess every name in this place, this game, is going to just be a business pun. Like, Stocksford. Yes, a lot of them are business-related puns. I like this image. This is actually quite a good image. I actually use this image for uh, making the portrait for CEO for during talking lines. Oh. Uh, it makes it easier when you have something to trace over. Let me see if I can find the picture real quick. It makes sense, honestly. Hello? This man says you made it to Stocksford. Oh, now I see what you mean about using the CEO image. It, like, the actual, like, image that appears in the text box. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good image, honestly, so... Yep. This game has a lot of good images, though. I can imagine that. I just arrived. When will I get to meet this boss of yours? I'm sure there will be a time and a place. 
The boss is very secretive, existing only to those few who believe. The boss is the protagonist of the old game. Actually, it isn't. <laughs> oh, well. I'm, not, I'm glad I'm wrong, actually. But somehow... That's somehow not the... All right. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Would hard. you like to do it then? Would you like to <laughs> be the is... person I'm voicing? It's so hard to keep track of what we're... I am so bad at this voice acting thing. That's somehow not the strangest thing I've heard all day. How was the train ride? A bit rough. That's how it's going to be in these streets sometimes, my man. I've been mistaken for an international terrorist plenty of times. That's why I have to wear a hood, even for something as simple as buying water. Can't get enough of the stuff. Yeah, I'm sure it's just a coincidence. You might want to consider grabbing yourself a coffee for a little pick-me-up. It's important to stay hydrated. I'll consider that. By the way, an IA agent stopped me at the station. He said something about shareholders looking for me. Shareholders don't mess around when they make enemies. Perhaps this dingo man I'm looking for knows wh why I may be, a be their target. My senses tell me that these shareholders are, pa are a powerful force to be reckoned with. I don't intend to go down without a fight. That's the spirit, my man. The boss man was right about you. Hmm. Alright, welcome to Stocksford, where everything is equally as monochrome as before. Trent21, you want to rent this pen? No, why would I want to rent a pen? It's a good pen, real cheap, only two cents. It's a pen, man. I don't need to rent one when I can just buy one. Come on, man, I got a family to feed. Just rent the pen, 15 days and you keep it. Your family will die because you are a failure. Shoot, why didn't you fall for my genius con? That was pathetic. <laughs> oh my god, I can actually hit them. And knock them out. <laughs> <laughs> I think you murdered that guy. Yes! Yes, I did! Um, I actually don't know if that increases your corruption levels or not. Uh... Somehow that didn't, despite that being the obviously terrible thing to do. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, more NPCs. <laughs> I didn't expect them to actually die! Sterling Swift, I owe a lot of money to a lot of people. What are you going to do about that? I'm going to keep running away. Yeah, I don't want to be caught by a harvester. Good luck with that. Those freaks are speedy. They may be quick, but I'm swift. What's the difference? Well, he's not swift enough to avoid getting punched. That's the difference. <laughs> you got $50 for punching a crate. Yep. Oh yeah, I think there's also a casino around here. What about this guy? But Byron trade day watch out for the old tax fire and trade is that what that's supposed to be a pun of honestly that actually does sound like a pun of buy and trade he doesn't mess around with tax evaders he kills them <laughs> i mean makes sense fair enough man this is a big area yeah this is one of the major like uh areas this is like one of the major chapter areas that you have to go to. Every major chapter area tends to be fairly large. 24-hour right, 20... clinic. Drain your blood, not your wallet. What the Christ is this about? Uh, um, I died here, actually. <laughs> because I made a mistake. With my new extendo neck replacement surgery, I will be able to have the longest tie the world has ever seen. I will be a god. Aha, uh -huh, really now? You died here. That's, um, you got a steroid. Free steroids. <laughs> it depends on where your mouse is. <laughs> yeah, I'm fixed. Alright, so, all right, the blood drive? Blood bank. One hit, 
wonder value machine for those in quick need of financial fix. Do you wish to use it? Not yet. Yeah, that thing is how I died. <laughs> that sounds like the lobotomy thing. Of you wind up trading like 28% of your HP for some money. Everything about this looks sketchy. But hey, free money's free money. You stick your arm in the hole. Ow. Slurp, slurp, slurp. A hundred dollars fall out the machine. If I had a little extra strength, I, I could punch this vile machine to pieces. Oh, I did 25 damage. Mm, so it was 25% HP then. <laughs> Either way, yeah, I died to this machine because I was on my last legs when I used it. And I didn't know what it did. <laughs> it was like, well, that's a derp moment. <laughs> Alright, so how much does it cost to buy a sandwich? A hundred. Uh-uh. So it's not worth it in the slightest. Nope. You've got a coffee. At least it's not worth it at the moment. Maybe it just does 25 health in the first, but in general. So when Ooh, I saw a box. You saw a box? Where'd you see a box? Bottom right, bottom right. Keep going. Ah! You got a sandwich! So is there any point to me actually talking to all the people here? Uh, I don't think I haven't talked to all the people unless there was a side quest that I missed. Ooh, a crack in the wall. A crack in the wall? Ooh. Whenever you see a crack in the wall, that usually means something. You got the MJ stimulus package. One coffee, one sandwich, and $500. Sweet. What's coffee do? Restores 20% of AP. Yeah, I pretty much never use coffee because AP restores automatically most of the time anyway before the fight's over. Yeah, I can imagine. Ten dollars. But yeah, if you ever see a crack in the wall, that's usually something you want to look into. I'm guessing this guy's a side quest then. Uh, it's either a side quest or a main quest. We'll see when we talk to them. Dorman Grills. Welcome to Stockford Grand Exche Stock Exchange. Can I go inside? Do you work here? No. If you don't work here, you can't go inside. It's never been done before. Why not open the door and make history? The dingo has Stockford on high alert. Haven't you seen the news? There's a terrorist on the loose. Then how can I get inside? Well, since you don't really look like a terrorist, you can try applying for a job here. How does one apply for a job? Oh, if only we all knew that one. <laughs> <laughs> That's a question we all wished, isn't it? Yeah. I'm surprised you've gotten this far without knowing how, how to apply for a job. With a dense brain like yours, you'll be per you'll be a perfect replacement for one of our recently retired sanitation engineers. That sounds... Fine. Bring me a notarized credit check from the local bank, and I'll let you in for your big interview. Fine, I'll just be on my way now. Heh. <laughs> yeah, you go do that, buddy. Alright. I'm guessing that was the main quest, then. Yeah, that was the main quest. Alright, this is a side quest. Taxman. You punks had your 24... Actually, your turn, voice. Alright, you punks had your 24 hours notice. It's time to cough it up. We're we pro promised we'd get it to you before the next cycle. Times have been tough, tax man. You've got you've seen the markets these days. They're completely unstable. Did you notice that their names were bankruptcy? I didn't know, but that sounds hilarious. One of them was no manny, no money, and bankruptcy. Bankruptcy. It's like, oh, oh my god. god. They have no money, and their names imply they have no money. <laughs> Everything in this game is a pun. Wait until later when we meet Peter Enos. A-A-K-A P Enos. Yeah, I don't even need to spell that out. Come on, Taxman. <laughs> Alright, let's move on. <laughs> That's not my problem, Worms. You pay up your dues or your life's getting on it. 
And since you smell like you've both been living under a rock, in case you haven't heard, Suit City was recycled this morning. Your time is up. Alright, we can intervene and kick some butt. Well, that just gets us more XP, doesn't it? Yeah. I mean, if we watch, we probably don't get a chance at XP at all. Yeah. Hey, buddy, extortion is a tad unprofessional, don't you think? Who do you think you are, scumbag? I wish I knew, but I'll spare you the explanation and just skip to the part where I kick your can. I have to admit, you're the sharpest suit I've, I'll ever have the pleasure of clobbering. Alright, fight time. I'm sorry, what the Christ are these fights? Yeah, some of these enemies wind up not looking like what you would think. <laughs> and eventually you just kind of get used to that. <laughs> oh god, the bastard is faster than me. Oh, come on, CEO, shoot more than once. Yeah, that's how I feel. <laughs> Yeah, that sounds about right. I gain one C CRP. Great. CEO lost eight defense. Oh god. Up. Status buffs and deep buffs are not quite as interesting as they as you'd think. Hmm, we might want to heal up, we're dying. What items do we have? Sandwiches. Which restores 20 health when he hits higher than 20 damage. Oof. Yeah, I think we... Whoops. I'm guessing that's just the game over screen, right? Yeah. Oh, it actually puts us right before the fight, then. Yep. Oh, that's nice. So it's not like so. If you die, you don't actually need to go back to where you last reloaded. Yeah. Oh, that's actually really nice and convenient. I think there's in. I think there's a side quest stuff in here that we could. Yep, there was one. There's someone. There we go. Stock Brockman. Up, down, up, down. Bull stocks, tall stocks, big stocks, small stocks. Have a seat. Let's talk about it. Are you feeling all right? I want to see the stocks! I want to be the stocks! Show me the future! And someone lost their mind. Well, he only has 100 HP instead of 120 this time, so... He gained 9 attack. Don't worry, status buffs and debuffs are basically worthless in this game. So is this... Are you sure about that? Hmm. Well, they were for me when I played through a while ago. Wow, we're getting... <laughs> I have not played this game in a while. Okay! We need a second party member stat. <laughs> Let's just see what else we can find in this place. Can I break these up? No. Okay, so this place is clearly a maze of some sort. Yep. Which means that there's probably battles and or loot around, because we know how dungeons work. We know how dungeons work. So I'm assuming, like, the cracks in the walls will only appear, like, at the top of the screen, right? Because we can't see the sides. Correct. Ooh, wait, is that a present? Left, left, left. I think that right there is Ooh. a present. You got $300. Yeah, you're right. Well done. We actually have a lot of money now. Yeah, we actually do have a lot of money. Maybe we can go get some equipment. We can rent out an apartment. With only $1,000? Uh, the guy, Well, the guy said before that it was like fifteen, twelve hundred. 1200 50 $50. Just keep breaking any and every box that we find. 
Maybe I can have him hang out with Crash and Break Boxes in my mod. It would be ironically appropriate, wouldn't it? Yeah. These coin fountains have always been really loud, but put it in the middle of the employee's housing? Why not? I'm sorry, I thought it's just it just sprouts out coins. Can we steal the money? That's what I was just thinking. I guess not, it's probably just aesthetic. Alright, apartments, there's probably optional <laughs> battles in here as well. Alright, what we got in the apartments then? A hundred dollars. Thanks, man, we just looted your house. The stench of this room is heinous enough to, co to concentrate it into weaponized vapor. <laughs> Thrice quice. Holy heck, I've been holding in a fat one for 16 years because these dang bathrooms are always locked. How are you alive? Yeah, that sounds... Pickleless Page. Do I need to explain that one? I don't know anything about movies and celebrities, but I know what that's a reference to. I think I found a treasure map on the back of my last paycheck. Nah, maybe I'm just getting old. The door is locked. Is that a reference to say if we look at our paychecks for doing these jobs, we can find things? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know anything about Nicolas Cage movies. Hey, Lord Feinstein. At night, I can hear I hear voices, mostly the neighbors. You don't want to know the things I hear. Well, what if I do? Oh, you do? Well, usually they just talk about their accounting and their and the stock markets, normal stuff. Nothing exciting. You should learn to just trust people's advice. When you first think of what someone else is hearing from the neighbors, usually your brain goes to a very dirty place very fast. <laughs> Shame b balls. The rent here keeps climbing, and, and all of the top business sit, and all the top business blame each other for inflation. Inflation. Self cycling doesn't sound too bad right about now. Uh, self recycling. I think that I think in this case that actually means suicide, because <laughs> recycling basically means getting killed. Yeah, I figured as much. At night, I hear the rumblings through the walls, usually news broadcasts from rat society li that lives in them. They say the big cheese is in cahoots with cat society's kitten in the attics, a direct violation of the age-old rat institution. I have- n I did not understand what the heck any of that was about. <laughs> the guy is high, that's all you need to understand. Okay, that I can understand. <laughs> I just remembered that I was going to make a joke about uh, uh, corrupt business and corruption, but I forgot to make my joke about Disney when we started. About Disney? You, we all, we all know that Disney is basically a monopoly at this point. Fair point. Just so many boxes to break. Boom. Yay, boxes. But yeah, uh. Well, that's the casino you were talking about. Yep. If we go to the casino, we can actually go gambling. I just realized the money trees. Oh my god, there's bags of money as coconuts in the palm trees. They say actually... money doesn't grow on trees. Clearly, they don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> Time to win it big, baby. Care to place a bet? Sure. We have no tokens, though. Alright, how much is a token? You. I think we get some for free. Would you like to turn in your tokens for cash? One token equals $200. Sure. Sorry, so you don't seem to have any tokens. Yes, then how do I get some? Uh, pro you probably need to talk to someone in the... I don't know where, but someone in the building probably can give you some for free. Probably. Hi, man. Nikolai Sudarich. Sukarich. Where I come from, whole life is spent- Oh, Nickel. <laughs> nickel, now I get it. Where I come from, whole life is spent on slot machine. Good to see this is also true here in Stocksford. Ha 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 ha. What about you? Hey! How's it going? 
Spin to win! Spin to win! Spin to win! Spin to win! As much as I write CEO to be kind of a hard ass, he does have his fun side. <laughs> I can't feel my legs anymore. Maybe you need to lose them then. I never leave this casino. Mostly because I sold my house, my car, my cat, and my hydreas just so I could keep playing my them slots, baby. My best advice would be to get a job. Then you can spend all your all of your paychecks on the sweet, sweet slots, baby. Heck yeah! That wi that winning streak's just a another couple of spins away. I can feel it. And you're super rich. How'd you get over here? The NPCs wander around quite a bit, so I actually... Yeah, but... <laughs> I'm surprised that we haven't seen anyone that will give us tokens, because I know we get tokens here. Maybe we... Wait, I think I remember now. Whoa. Interact with the machine again. Time to win it big. Okay. Try again. Pull down the lever on the right. Ha. Oh, okay, now I see it. That's the mistake I was making. There's three buttons on the bottom. Yeah. It's how much money we're placing as a bet. Oh. I forgot this isn't how it works like it does in Pokemon. <laughs> you can tell I never do stuff like this. <laughs> All right, come on. All right, we won some money. So how many tokens is that? Uh, I think we just got fifty dollars because we started with eighteen hundred something, and now we have nine. Oh yeah, we doubled the amount of money we got. Well, in that case, might as well spin again and just see if we break even. All right, Jerome Face, come on. Jerome Face is the jackpot. No, the suits one is the jackpot. It's just that the Jerome one is more common. You actually get an achievement if you get all three Jeromes. <laughs> I'm gonna spend another dollar on the slot machines. Another hundred, you mean. Via the tens. And we'll see what we get. Man, this is so slow. Oh, yeah. There's no way to make them quicker, is it? I don't think so. Jerome face! Come on. Man. I love how we win the very first one. And then we fail every subsequent one. It kind of- that's actually probably how gap these slot machines are actually designed to work, you know? Yeah. Well, I got a bit of money then, because it gave me a five. Hmm. Huh. So clearly two of these actually is good enough to win something. So you said there's an achievement for the three Jerome faces, right? Yeah, I think so, there's also one for the three suits thing as well. Yeah, I was gonna say, uh, is there gonna be one for the jackpot as well? But as we can tell, it's pretty much entirely a luck-based achievement. Oh yeah, entirely, and thus is why I'm never going to be able to get it. Because we all know what my luck is. <sighs> my luck just doesn't exist. My Our luck, luck is a dump stat. And I didn't have a choice in putting it there. But like I say, I'm gonna keep going until I, I reach 1700, then I'll stop. Throw out a little fun after all. Hey, I got two Jerome faces and I got went up to back up to 70, so clearly some doubles actually give you money. Yeah. Ooh, we got a token. Ooh, I was gonna say, yeah, we actually, we got a token for that. We just got a token for the double suits. Which means we just got $200. Meaning we actually made a profit from this. Wow. I'm impressed. So this is why gambling is considered addictive. <laughs> because it's nice when you win. Oh, it just obviously. Doesn't work. I think we get triple our money back if we get double Jerome Head. Yeah. From the looks of it. Come on, triple suits. Oh! Whoa, we got we another got token. token! We're actually winning somehow! <laughs> Wait, is this a genuine way to play 
win, just win the game. Just keep spending 10 and eventually just get all the tokens to trade for 200 money. And then just pay to win through the entire game. I guess that actually is a viable strategy. It makes sense for a business game. We're getting a lot of suits as our first thing. Yeah, we are, aren't we? I'm beginning to think if you can actually go for some sort of pacifist run with this game. <laughs> you know? Just bribe all the enemies. I think bribing them to get fired is still basically killing them. Alright, the last one, because we reached 1700. Are we gonna get to keep playing, or is the game gonna tell us no? A third we got token. another token. So we came in with what am I calling? Eighteen hundred fifty, I think. Eighteen hundred fifty, yeah. And we're about to get up to uh, what was it twenty three hundred? So we've made about a four hundred and fifty profit. Yeah. And it only took a half hour of spinning a slot machine. Oh, it's only been like 10 minutes. Oh, it has? Yeah. Then this thing is just super slow. So hey there, pal. I would like to cheat to turn in the, your, my money and cheat your system. Now the question is, Rukia, I said we spin until we reach 1700, right? Yes. Well, and we're no we longer on, on 1700, so... I'm starting to think CEO might not be the only one who has gambling. Uh, who has the knack for gambling. Nah, uh, nah, it's fine. I'm just gonna do it to 50, just because I don't like uneven numbers, you know? Yeah. I did the first one as a joke, but still. We got another token. Wow! Maybe I should actually try my luck at gambling at this rate. I seem to make a profit from it. Oh my god! Wow. <laughs> this is an interesting turn of events. <laughs> I think this is a joke! Don't you dare. Thank you. I was gonna say, if I get another one. I mean, if you get another $200, who's gonna complain? Me, because I might not leave. Oh, now it's no longer 50, so I have to keep going! We might be stuck here for a while, audience. Because <laughs> the number looks bad. Well, there you know we what? Go. It's now back up nice to what we saw. We're back up to the beginning! We're back Except up to we have 400 extra dollars now. <laughs> Save our progress. You know to what? make sure that we don't lose it. That's actually a very good point. Let's do it. Double save just to be safe. Alright, this is the tax collection office. Yada yada. Wait, hold up. What? Hold up, that didn't look right. Sorry, sir, but the boss isn't in his office but at the moment. Please come back later. What's that? What's what that square at the top of that tree to the left. That doesn't look right. Is that a box? A fragile crate. You got a coffee. Good eye, my good man. Alright, so what did that secretary named Secretary say? Which secretary? The one that was named Secretary. Your name's Secretary? Uh, try going up again. Sorry, sir, but the boss isn't here. Yeah, he's saying you can't was... go up there. Their name was Secretary, that's what it said. Elon Trusk. I may be a billionaire, but sometimes I like to work like a common man to remind myself of all the problems my rockets can't fix. They're not even subtle. This game does <laughs> not know what the definition of the word subtlety is, does it? I mean, this isn't exactly a subtle world to begin with. <laughs> Many loans. Our loans range from a simple 10 cycle 100% interest rate to our brand new 50 cycle 1000. 
Is that nothing 100% interest rate would probably destroy anybody. Hello, welcome to the tax office. Here to pay taxes. If the tax man is out, come back later. Big buy. What? Uh, I'm guessing this is just a shop. Yeah. How can I help you? Right. Do you have an offer? Let's see if they have any suits or ties we can buy. Well, this one's just the... Oh, wait, I suppose... Ah, okay. Employee right. uniform. Fancy suit. Business suit. What's MHP? Uh, let's see. MHP. Maximum HP, that's what that is. Ah, okay. So what have we got? A smooth tie with 10 APR. So I could just do the bloody what I'm call it every single turn. You could buy both the smooth tie and the business suit right now, actually. You have enough money. Thanks for gambling! <laughs> Ball stocks. When in stock Stockford, the company max HP is increased by, by 100. Hmm, but we're not going to be in Stocksford forever, though. Because once we finish up this chapter, we leave. We can come back, but we're probably not coming back. <laughs> All right, well, let's work on this basis then. What's more important right now? Our attack or our defense or our health? Because obviously we can get the tie, but then we got the exclusive case, which is 13 attack, 7 defense, and 40 HP. And then we got the suit, which is 7 attack, attack 11 defense, and 60 HP. I think I'd go with the business suit, because we get more HP. Very fair. And then we can get the smooth tie. So, uniform, yeah. suit. One business suit. And then for the tie... My god, that is a drastic buff. Isn't it? Yep. Oh boy. Right. We just got a big upgrade. The big burgers they sell here are really low quality, but man, they... They... They are a steal of a price. Gotta have that lifetime membership card, though. How does one get this membership? Well, there are two ways. The shop, e the shop here exclusively... Shop here exclusively for 50 cycles, or enter the draft. Draft? Yep, at any moment you can may get drafted to work here for life. Isn't that great? Mm, no. Hmm. Who would want to work fast food? So we've definitely had a good upgrade here, haven't we? Yeah. And it's all thanks to gambling. <laughs> Let's go do some more! Oh god, we're gonna get addicted slot, to gambling. Slots, 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 slots. That did not sound right. <laughs> Spin to no, win! I think I might have accidentally gotten PFA addicted to gambling. We won! <laughs> more profits! I have made a horrible mistake. <laughs> <laughs> I have made a wonderful mistake. <laughs> Jackpot! <laughs> we can actually buy the suitcase as well! <laughs> I have made a wonderful mistake. <laughs> <laughs> How is this actually working? I don't I'm... get it. I think it's because of the t the token payout versus the money payout. Because one token costs so much. And I don't think we'd get quite as much if we used the 50 or 100 options. <laughs> And now, with that five dollars, there's nothing we can do to make that number look good. Other than gamble some more until it's no longer a five. That will take forever. I don't even know what caused the five in the first place. Is the thing. Oh no. I don't know if I think it's like... it was two money bags. It's either two money bags or a single suit, I'm not sure. I don't think the single suits do anything. Well, with the money bag and the two b boxes, we... See? We got our five back. Yep. 
Two money bags and a suit. Please, just get me back to 200. I don't want to waste my time gambling this episode. I just want to get back to a, the nice even 200. Please. And then I'll go kill some of the things that, that kicked our ass. <laughs> it never ends! I'm this doing... is making your OCD act up really bad, isn't it? Uh, yes! Yes, it is! I'm too good at gambling, apparently. Fine! 50, is that good enough? Fine! <laughs> if you want to make it so I have a profit game, fine! I can't believe I actually got the fucking jackpot. It took me way longer than that to get the jackpot. Oh my god, you... <laughs> My luck works in extremes. I am either extremely lucky or extremely unlucky. Turns out with the gambling of this game, it goes the lucky way. Which frankly, I shouldn't complain about. Yeah, complaining about being lucky is pro <laughs> That's a weird thing to be complaining about. Right. Let's right, just then. kick this invent kick this guy's behind, then. Alright, hopefully we will not die as much this time, and oh gosh, we forgot to heal before we did this. Who cares? bang a bang a bang Oh, 46 HP. Yeah, we have definitely had an upgrade. One hit is 19 HP. Gained one CRP. Ooh, I'm not two now. Ooh, what's gonna happen to me, Rookie? That. Oh. <laughs> and I suddenly do 168 damage. What? Yeah, that's what corruption does. It lowers your defense, but drastically increases your attack power. However, it also makes your corruption stat go up. And. After an update wound up happening, once it reaches a certain threshold, there's no going back. Holy heck, guy. You pounded him to pieces. Hey, wait a minute. I've seen you somewhere before. You're a CEO somewhere, right? Don't worry about that. In fact, I was never here, so keep quiet. Consider that payment for dealing with your little death problem. Sure. Sure thing, mister. We... Here's some here's some of the money we were supposed to give him. Thanks for saving us. You got two hundred dollars. Yay. Alright, so what's that button? Okay. So well, according to that, I'm still a virgin, so Yeah, it, it's in increments of ten that it shows you. So we don't know the full from zero to a hundred yet. Oh, but... then should I go murder ten people? Ah. Uh, we can see what happens if we <laughs> Because it only increases if our corruption goes high enough. Alright, you. What's kick do? A powerful kick. Brings down the enemy's defense. Alright. Seems useful. Alright, time to repeatedly kick people. No, uh, we kick them once and then we just go bang. Ow. When I play this game, I made CEO just kick people repeatedly. Whack! Because it decreases defense. But then again, we had two other party members to benefit from it. Plus, it's only got a one in- it's got a one in five chance of missing, so... A one in five chance of missing? Yeah, it's 80%. Alright, duh. <laughs> Fired. You win! The party got 50 XP and 50 cash. The company got a turtle suit. I doubt right, it's see. better. Much higher defense, much lower speed, and... Slightly lower attack. And lower health. Hmm, I'd keep the business suit, honestly. Yeah, so would I. We can wait for a party member to wear that, and then they can become the tank. You know? Yeah. There actually is a character that would probably be a good idea to have as a tank. And they are the second party member. So, where's the bank? Here's the bank. Global Bank of Stock thing. Right. ATM, access denied. Prick. 
All right, so, ooh, wait, up, up. What is that at the bottom right? Bottom right? Yeah, that looks like... You mean these? Yeah. You got a memo. Stockford employee memo. Oh! Ow. Law. We just entered the banks of vaults. <laughs> Well, that happened. <laughs> All right, well, they just keep the vault unlocked, apparently. That sounds like a terrible idea. What is this bank doing? Well, it looks oh, like no, it's this bank is printing money, isn't it? Is that what that machine's for? Obviously. Counterfeiting. What do you expect? Oh, no. Oh, gosh. Oh, jeez. You were right there, guy. I'm going to die. It's all over. My world is crumbling to pieces. Hey, chill out for a second and tell me what happened. The plates, they're gone! Explore the sewers. Well, that was random. Yeah, very random. But apparently we discovered what kind of crap's happening with the ba with the bank then. Hello. I mean... Hmm? I mean, all things considered, this really isn't that surprising. <laughs> this yeah. whole planet is like this. Very fair. Alright. Welcome to Stockport City Bank. How may I help you on this bright and beautiful morning? I'm here to get a credit check to apply for a job. The name's, uh, CEO. Wonderful. Just give me a few seconds to run the numbers. Excellent. We've concluded that your problem is too advanced for our department. <laughs> Aren't you supposed to be a bank teller? Yes. Then what is this department's department responsible for? Telling. We're here to tell people about the advent of the machines that were des that were designed to replace us. The ATM. They can do the work of many men without facing the inefficiencies of chit chat. Can the ATM help me get a credit check? Probably. It is a far wiser and more advanced than our feeble minds. Thanks for nothing. Please feel free to rate your experience of being told on the WELP application. Five times would be much appreciated. I'd rather not lose my job in life. <sighs> this was pathetic. <laughs> Goddamn idiots. Okay, I guess I have to sign in here. This shouldn't take long. See, I was surrounded by idiots. <laughs> Including the ATM. Hey, are you stupid or something? The ATM was designed for taking out cash and putting money back in. Did you really think you could get a credit check here? We all got the dingoes memo. Wanted. Rogue. CEO. In Stockford. In Stockford. I've been grinding my gears at this bank for years. And once I destroy you, I'll finally get that sweet, sweet... Stockmas bonus I've been after for 67 cycles. So, no credit check? <laughs> I love how he just doesn't care. <laughs> the ATM is attacking us for our Christmas bonus. How much health does it have? A hundred. You've got nothing on me. Not with how much I've gambled for my equipment. We've got <laughs> the power of... We've got the power of gambling and anime protagonist powers on our side. Gambling and anime protagonist! Oh yeah, I like the sound of that. Oh god, you are so dead, you absolute worthless brick die. Fired. You won. The party got 50 XP and 150 cash. The company got a diary. The ATM. Master Man. Dingo, I have failed you. Please, oh mighty Fister, do not enter my treasure hole. There seems to be a small hole behind the ATM. If I destroy the ATM, I should be able to access it. Alright, so I guess punch it. Yay, stop. The dingo and his goons don't want don't seem to want to, me getting into that that stock exchange. Is that a bathroom? The smell and shape makes one deduct that a body may be the contents of this large shack sack. What a shame. This porter potty appears to be, have a trap door in it. I wonder where it leads to. I'm feeling a strange sense of deja vu. We seriously just fell down a porter potty hole. 
Hank Teller. Hank. You're here for the dive? What's the dive? Many enter the labyrinth in that sewer over there, but only one leaves a wealthy man. And what happens to everyone else? Well, they leave dead. What about the other sewer? Oh, that? Some say that's how the Yanks family got their riches. So, like a secret tunnel of some kind? Probably. Anyway, good luck in there. It was nice knowing you. Enter the dive. Welcome one and welcome all to the 50th Labyrinthian Dive! Many will enter, but only one will find prosperity in the treasure of the final room! Have any of you damned individuals dreamt of a life of infinite luxury and everlasting wealth? That dream could be your future should you survive the challenges within the labyrinth. I wish you all the best of luck. Pay your $50 entry fee and all your dreams could be your brand new reality. I'd like to enter this contest. Ah, a worthy contender. I can see your drive in your eyes. Though I notice your suit and I wonder why you even need any more wealth at all. We all have our sel selfish desires, my friend. Ha ha ha! I like the cut of your jib, my boy. Head on in when you're ready. And hey, if you see my son in there, don't be afraid to kick his can if you know what I mean. He's kind of a bit of a disappointment. Man, family members can't even be nice to each other in this universe. Well... Oh wait, that's just real life, isn't it? <laughs> What happens over here? Oh, that's just I think this might be the exit. Well, we've now got to enter some labyrinth so that we can survive with our super equipment that we bought through the power of an from gambling and anime. I love this. <laughs> this, this I recommended a game that you like, yay. <laughs> oh, there's just so many puns, and the fact I'm winning at the gambling is just the most hilarious bit to me. There's so many puns, there's lots of dark humor there it's kind of gritty and stuff i figured you'd probably like this yeah i most certainly do and the saving's so quick as well which is nice yeah but you know what guys i'm afraid out of time. we're out of time for today so it looks like well what can we say everyone other than join us together next time because we're playing this series together there's no question about that and we are going to get through suits and see what ceo has to say about all this but everyone i'm afraid it looks like until that time it's time for us to bid the all farewell good day and finally good night rukia take a bow and do your hat thing uh i'm not on camera i don't then, think then draw a picture